through the ribs of oh. his opponent. Nice uppercut, and his opponent is hurt. And here comes Jerwin Agajas trying to finish Miguel Gonzalez here in a round six of this world championship fight. Gonzalez holding on for dear life. Bago ang nakatak ng laban sa ating kababayan sa isang Meksikano na si Javier Rodriguez, ay muli nating balikan ang nakaraang laban ni Jerwin Angrahas kontra sa isang Chileans na si Miguel Gonzalez. Sa laban ng ito kaibigan, ay masasaksihan natin ang malaking improvement ni Pretty Boy sa laban. Ang challenger na si Miguel Gonzalez ay may kaliitan sa taas na 5-3.5 at sa edad na 30 ay may kartada itong 39 wins with 8 knockouts at may dalawang talo. Habang si Jerwin ang kahas naman sa tangkad na 5-6 ay 27 anyos at may kartada na 31 wins with 21 knockouts at may isang talo at dalawang draw. Si Angkahas ay tubong Panabo City, Dabao del Norte. Ang labang ito kaibigan ay ginanap sa Puebla, Mexico noong Desyembre 7, taong 2011. Kung bago ka lang sa ating channel kaibigan ay huwag kalimutang pindutin ang like at subscribe button. Nag-a-upload po tayo ng video isa o higit pa kada linggo. Sa labang ito ay malayo ang agwat ng experience ng ating kababayan. Si Jerwin Angkahas ay lumaban na sa iba't ibang bansa kaya ang salitang kaba ay di natin makikita. Ito rin ang kanyang pangsyam na depensa sa IBF World Super Flyweight mula nang masungkit niya ito noong 2014. Kabaliktaran naman dito si Gonzales na karaniwang lumalaban lang sa loob ng bansang Chile. Si Gonzales din ang kauna-unahang world champion sa kanyang bansa. You gotta have that. The last couple times, he's looked a lot better because there was a point where we saw him come into one of our fighter meetings and yeah. he was done. I mean, you gotta have that. A champion must have a nutritionist or someone that can, you know, cook his meals for him and also a strict coach. Looping right hand from Miguel Gonzalez. Yeah, you see Gonzalez not really using his jab. His attack is the body. He likes to break guys down to the body and then shoot shots up to the head. So expect a lot of body punching from both guys in this fight. Nice body shot right there from Nakahas. Nakahas is basically saying, okay, you want to go to my body? Well, I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go down to your body. We already saw that Mariaka finished the fight with a body shot. And uh, Johnny Navarrete comes from... Sa galawan ni Gonzales, madaling nakakapasok ang counter ni Angkahas sapagkat matapos nitong umatake ay nakabukas ang depensa. Sa round nga na ito ay kinukontrol ni Angkahas na hindi makapasok si Gonzales at naging epektibo ang mga straight punch ng ating kababayan. Mapapansin din natin ang pagbabago ni Angkahas mula sa mga nakaraan niyang laban. Naging mabilis ito, resulta ng kanyang matinding pag-iinsayo sa training camp. He just loves to dig to the body and, and get into a war of attrition and that's a dangerous place to be in against a fighter like Jerwin Ancajas. Those southpaw angles. You see Ancajas able to establish that jab from the outside. Backwards and make, make Ancajas uncomfortable. Well, that's what increases, you know, his opportunity to, to win this fight. His name is so he's got to thread the needle here against Jerwin Ancajas. Get inside, use the jab, work the body. But Ancajas can be hot and cold. In his last fight against Ruichi Funai, he looked spectacular. Yes, he did. And before that, you were not at all happy. He wasn't too happy, but his last, his last showing, he, you know, he showed a lot of improvement. He looked strong. He was quick. You know, he placed his shots very well, kind of like what he's doing right now. Place your shots very Got those earmuffs on, does the Chilean fighter. You see those angles right there from Encajas. Oh. Beautiful shots right there. Look, going down to the body. And as you, as your man leans a little bit forward in the pocket, what does Encajas do? Lift him up with the uppercut. Have to deliver at home. The liver, that's what these two guys are trying to catch. A liver shot. <laughs> Both Jerwin Ancajas and Miguel Gonzalez. A lot at stake for Gonzalez in his first world title opportunity. And for Ancajas, he needs to keep proving that he is an elite fighter at 115 pounds because there are a lot of big names. Ilang segundo makalipas sa round 3 ay naging offensive fighter si Pretty Boy. 
sa bayan ng pagiging counter puncher ay siguradong walang kawala si Miguel Gonzalez. There's a lot of talent, a lot of good fights to be made if he continues to win. You know, he's really standing his ground, really sit down on this oh, plane. Got a nice high guard, digging down to the body. He's not running around. You know, he's just walking in the ring, using his jab. Oh, 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 oh. And he has his opponent in trouble here as Miguel Gonzalez is able to stay on his feet. But Ancaja smelled blood and goes for the body shots. A little low there with that left hook, oh, but Ancaja is dangerous. And look how short those shots are. Yeah, you know, from Ancajas. They're nice, short play shots. They're not wide, you know, so you know he's been working on this in the gym. He looks good tonight. And the other thing is, Miguel Gonzalez is making him work for it. This fighter came in here with a desire to make history for his home country. He's fighting against Ancajas with a lot of heart, but those yeah. body shots are gotta wear him down. You die by the sword, you live by the sword, you die by, die the, by sword. the sword. Yep. We see Gonzalez taking a lot of punishment to the body from Jerwin Ancajas, who goes downstairs once again. Nice right Gonzalez. hand there from Gonzalez. Yeah, yeah, Gonzalez had no choice but to get inside the kitchen of Ancajas because Ancajas is just too athletic for him, too much ability. Big NBA fan, his sons. Ancajas is trying to do, he's sitting down, he's right in front, you know, and 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 Ancajas is, the way, he, the way he normally fights, he's a counterpuncher. That's what he likes to do. He's a counterpuncher, bro. Now he wants to be first. He wants to respond. And he's trying to hit hard tonight. He's trying to knock out Gonzalez. Nang matikman ni Gonzalez ang lakas ng kampiyon sa nakaraang round, ay naging defensive na ito dito sa round 4. Bihira na lang din itong makatama ng solid punches. Gawa ng hindi mapasabay nito ang depensa at opensa. Now on the hunt, you mentioned that he asserted himself. That's what I like about him. You know, he's really asserted himself. He's not just looking for just for counter shots. You know, he's trying to lead and he's trying to be defensive at the same time and then lead again. Kahas has a nice jab when he uses it. It's definitely effective for him. Setting up the backhand right there. And every now and then you see Gonzalez, he'll he'll jump in there. He'll leave himself wide open and Kahas will take a lens. Five of 25 jabs per. He held that phone. Going back to the jab numbers, and junior featherweight average. Nice counter right there from Makahas. Of his prime right now, Nardo. Right in the midst of his prime, and, and you know, at each fight you have, you have to continue to get better and better and better. And Miguel Gonzalez, well, he sparred Juan Pablo Mesa and Gonzalo Funelida in Chile, and then he went to Puerto Rico and he. Si Miguel Gonzalez ay magaling sa dikitang laban, pero hindi sapat ang lakas niya para patumbahin si Ancajas. Kaya ang nangyari ay malalakas na counter mula kay Pretty Boy ang tumatama. Counter right there from Gonzalez who I was watching some of his fights in Chile and the Chilean commentators were saying he's so good when he boxes but he loves to be on the inside. My shot to the body there. Quick three punch combination. Good defense from Miguel Gonzalez. Rounds up this scheduled 12 round fight. Almost a clash of heads right there. He landed and it really didn't have a, whoa, it didn't have a whole lot of effect like he wanted it to. So he's kind of taking this round off. Oh, nice right hand there from Jerwin Ancajas to close out this fifth round. We're in a scheduled 12 round. And I want to continue to watch him fight. There's Nang maamoy ni Ancajas na nangihina na itong si Gonzalez dito sa round 6, ay mas lalo pa itong naging agresibo at sasabi nga ng commentator na si Timothy Bradley ibang angkahas ang nakasanayan nating nakita sa ibabaw ng ring uh, only 9% but then you see one jab landed for his opponent Miguel Gonzalez that's not gonna cut it against a fighter like Jerwin Ancajas well it's not but do you see what Ancajas is doing right now he's being a bully normally he likes to fight off the back foot he's actually pressing the action ladies and gentlemen he's actually looking for the knockout this is a different Ancajas, Jerwin Ancajas. You see that body shot once again from Jerwin Ancajas, you could hear it. And that's really wearing down. He threw the ribs of oh. his opponent. Nice uppercut, and his opponent is hurt. And here comes Jerwin Ancajas trying to finish Miguel Gonzalez here in a round six of this world championship fight. Gonzalez holding on for dear life. And down he goes, but it's not a knockdown. Very smart from Gonzalez.
Very, very smart from Gonzalez. Oh, Jerwin Akakas swings and misses, but Gonzalez. Sa loob nga lang ng isang minuto at pitumpot tatlong segundo, ay tinigil ng referee ang laban at itinanghal si Jeremy Rangkahas na panalo via technical knockout. Wayne Hedgepeth had no choice but to stop this fight. That's right. You know, sometimes when you hurt fighters, we just tend to go to, to the danger. Yeah. Hanggang dito na lang ang ating video kaibigan. Hanggang sa muli, maraming salamat. To come back and turn the tide.